It's been almost 4 months since the release of Chrome OS Flex and after multiple updates we are now on 107 stable version. And with all the recent updates the operating system has definitely become much more stable than the initial release. Let's take a look at the newest update and see if there's anything new. So I do not see any new app but uh, there is a new feature that was added in the browser if you open any uh, foreign website with a foreign language that you are not familiar with so we typically see an option to translate the entire page on the top right you can see there is a google translate option and it uh, shows up and asks you if you want to translate the whole page and you can see that the whole page has now been translated in english but with this new feature we can translate a certain portion of the website so for example if i select this text and right click now you can see a new option to translate to English and on the top right you can see that the translation is only for that selected text. So if your entire website is in English but a certain part of it is in another language, you can just uh, select that, highlight that and then just see the translation. So this is a really good feature but you cannot use it by default. You need to enable it from the Chrome flags. So just go to this uh, link. And then you need to search for this partial translate and enable it then restart and you will be able to use this feature another new feature that i've noticed is when you swipe up with your three fingers on the trackpad we see the multitasking screen and we also have option to add new desktop screen but now we can also save the current desktop so all the applications that are currently opened up will be saved and with one click all the applications will open up so you can also delete it and rename it so it's really helpful for productivity and multitasking so a really good add-on also with this update we see a lot of under the hood changes for security patches and everything so it's going to be more secure than ever and we also see option to allow the submission of users data so you can also opt out of it if you don't want to and uh, we do not see any new wallpaper packs or anything we have the usual screen saver options and uh, during the setup we see option to choose between dark mode and light mode so that's only the new thing during the setup and after using the chrome os flex for the newest update for some time um, i can definitely say that it has become much better than before i've enable the linux and it was working fine and the multitasking the animations wi-fi everything is working so i can say it's uh, good for if you want to use for browsing purpose and streaming it should work fine and it's quite uh, like low on resources on the lower end pcs as well so that was it for this video don't forget to like to show support and i'll see you in the next one